The Delta variant of COVID-19 is taking a major toll on Florida, but as it continues to spread across the state, there are now two new variants that have health officials concerned, and both of them already arriving right here in Florida. David Espinoza Hall live from Tampa General Hospital with more on the story. David. Yes, good evening. So we're talking about the Lambda and B1621 variants and their impact is being felt worldwide and also here in our state of Florida. A couple new variants. One of them is called Lambda. It's been named as a variant of interest by the WHO. Uh, it has appeared to be the dominant variant in South America in Peru. But the Lambda variant has also made its way to Florida and 43 other U.S. states. Experts are closely watching the Lambda variant because a Japanese study found that it may be more resistant to current COVID vaccines. And unfortunately, Lambda isn't the only variant to have made its way to the Sunshine State. There's another variant that hasn't received a WHO designation. Uh, it's B1621. Um, that one became dominant in Colombia. So these two uh, variants have um, some sort of transmissibility advantage, at least in those particular countries. The B1621 variant has spread quickly in the Jacksonville area. If there is good news here, is that neither variant seems to be more lethal than the Delta variant, and neither of them appear to spread any faster, which explains why the Delta variant remains the largest concern in our state. We kind of have to deal with the crisis we're in, and this Delta variant is really a big problem. And no matter which variant you may encounter, experts say the best technique for protecting yourself is the one you already know, wearing a mask. There's no way that a virus can mutate itself around a mask. So masks and physical distancing are really essential as well. Doctors at Tampa General Hospital tell me that so far they've seen very few patients with either of these variants. We can also say because of the way that COVID-19, as we know, can mutate and spread, they're going to be watching those numbers and watching them closely. Reporting live in downtown Tampa, I'm David Espinosa Hall, 8 on your side.